everybody welcome back or to my channel so I'm back with another unboxing um, I had just filmed this I just uh, did the unboxing and my husband interrupted twice so um, I just I I wasn't liking it so I'm just going to, to go ahead and just redo and show I've seen everything in the box so it won't be a surprise to me but anyways this is the magical earth very nice box by the way this is my first time ever um, subscribing to this one so yeah as you can see I tried to put it back mostly how it came yeah, he called in two different times and it messed the video all up and it turned it into two or two separate di different videos that I would have had yeah so Okay, so first we get a tarot card here. It's the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you're welcome to read that. I'm sure it's picked intuitively, but um, and you give them your uh, your sign to when you um subscribe for the box. If anyone knows what deck this came from, please let me know. I'm gonna try to find out after the video. Um, I love this deck. I am a professional reader, so I already know what the Queen of Pentacles means. And yeah, it does uh, kind of match up for me right now. Then we have Lepidolite. I'm not sure if I said that right. This is a crystal that's in the bag that I couldn't figure out <laughs> what it was. But then after the video, I realized, uh, hello, Amy. This is the thing for, and this is a gorgeous crystal. And we will reach through and grab that now and here's the paperwork so I'll set that aside um, and of course it's going to be buried okay and that is this beauty here this is gorgeous and that's more like the true color of it because the camera isn't really picking it up when it's that way but, oh, it's so pretty. And I don't have one. So, that's very nice. Then we have here some twine and whatnot and ribbon. And you will see why. This is the first time I've ever done an unboxing that I've already seen what's in the box. So, hubby's in the doghouse tonight. Then we have a scrying mirror. So this did, this was covered on both sides with a peel. But anyways, this is a scrying mirror. And I had un, took the, I had taken the, the film off it during my first filming. So here's all about scrying. I'm gonna pause to read that. Then we have some rice for green rice for prosperity, protection, serenity, money. So you can use this for any type of um, magical workings, not just money. Then we have in this little black sachet, we have crazy lace agate. Agate. I never pronounced that right, but I'll say it how I say it. Um, nice little stone. I don't have one of these. The things with crystals, or the thing with crystals and me, is I get so many of them, and I can't remember all of them, so I just pick and choose the ones that mean the most to me. Like, if it's a crystal for, you know, peace and harmony and sleep and stuff like that, then I choose them. Otherwise, the rest of them, I put them all in a bowl and just let them be beautiful here we have the triple goddess obsidian i'm going to read that and this is gorgeous looky there so pretty this box is about 50 ish i believe 
I will definitely be um, continuing my subscription with them. This is a nice box. Get quite a bit of stuff. Mostly, it's mostly all stuff in here for, um, I'll show you in a minute. This, we have a cinnamon. So, as you can tell, we've got some rice. We've got cinnamon sticks. We're making an, an um, intention jar. And here's the jar. It was all bubble wrapped nice and safe. Like I said, I had to re refilm. So there's your jar. Very nice size. Little, not little. Very nice size jar. I like it. Then we have a black candle. Then we have a wooden spoon. Very cute. Pretty. Then this, I, I loved this. We have this little jar here. It is filled with all kinds of little goodies here. We have crystals. We have charms. Look at this turtle charm. He's just so darn cute. And lots of little crystal chunks. We have some money signs, a horseshoe. Can't ever remember the name of that hand, but it does have the evil eye in there. So these are all for the intention jar or whichever ones that you are um, pulled to. I really love this little. Uh, I was trying to show that the little eye spins around. So that is that is really cute. A good little amount of goodies in there for the jar. Then we have, of course, some herbs. We have dandelion root for courage, bravery, confidence, and transformation. Then we have lemongrass, love. And then we have spearmint, protection, luck, and healing. So this is going to be a fun jar to make. And I believe that is it. Yes. Okay. So let's look at our paperwork. And I apologize again. Um, I usually like it to be a surprise for me and you at the same time. But my husband <laughs> kind of uh, destroyed that. So we have October 22nd through November 21st. This month we celebrate the final harvest, Samhain. Halloween, our ancestors, and a new year. We honor our ancestors on All Hallows Eve. Take a moment to remember them. Manifesting your desire is our main focus this month. Ask yourself, what is it you want to manifest in the coming year? Enjoy the contents this month. We put a lot of love in making these especially for you. Yes, they did. So we have the <clears throat> Lepidolite, and I hope I'm saying that right, which was, where'd we go? Which was this beautiful crystal here. And then we have the Crazy Lace Agate. Where did that go? Okay, which was here. Then we have the Obsidian Triple Goddess. Gorgeous, gorgeous stone. Then we have um, our glass jar. I'm just putting these things back in the box because I have so many different boxes and so many rituals too that have came in all of them. I'm going to be busy. Then we have the herbs. Herbs and charms. We included several for you. Use the ones that resonate with your intention. So there's our herbs. Um, ribbon. For use in decorating your jar. Then we have the scrying mirror, which was this little guy here. I'm going to set this down on the bottom so it doesn't get broken. There we go. Then we have um, the candle, which is used to seal up your 
intention jar. Um, handmade spoon, handmade spoon made by a wonderful local artist, hand burned. Just a pretty little spoon. The charms, we read that off. Um, the scrying mirror, astrology calendar. They didn't mention the cinnamon, but I would con um, place that in the herbs where they said herbs and charms. Um, <clears throat> as well as the rice. Uh, and in here, because again, like I said, they will ask you your um, sign. And I am Scorpio. So you get a horoscope. And then you get an astrological calendar for October 21st through December 21st, 2021. Um, and this is for Scorpio. I would say it's a really nice little box. Um, hold on, we will read the little intention jar. Oh, and then you get the um, thing for the lepidolite. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, it's okay. Then you get the Queen of Pentacles. Again, if anyone knows this deck, please let me know down in the comments. I really would like to check it out a little further. I don't have that deck, and um, I think I've seen this deck, but um, I'm not sure the name of it right off the bat. So, um, tarot card drawn specifically for you, which was that. And then for our intention jar, because this seems to be like the biggest item in the in the box. Decide on what your attention for the next year is. Review the items included and the properties of each item. Decide on which one fit fit your intention the best. Feel free, of course, to add any ingredients you want that you may have or want. Add the ingredients one at a time. Once you have added everything, seal the jar with the wax candle. Say the following. I set my intention and I seal my will. Let nothing stand in my way turnover for more info send us photos intention is an expression of what you want the universe cannot work its magic for you if you are unable to articulate what you what exactly it is that you want there are effective ways and in, and, and ineffective ways to express your desire when it comes to setting an intention for your jar please be as descriptive and clear as possible <coughs> A vague intention such as, I need more money in my life, will never work as well as an intention with clarity and, wait a minute, will never work as well as an intention with clarity and precision. Like, I will turn my side business into a full-time job within 12 months. Feel free to message us with any questions. So yeah, intention's everything when you're doing magical work. And some people will, you know, sit down, do some magical workings. And say, um, just like she just said, gave an example, um, I need more money in my life, light your candle up and poof. Oh, yep. Um, now I'm expecting in a couple of days, an envelope of money will show up at my door. No, it does not work that way. With magic, you have to work the magic. That's why I call it magical workings. So this, in my opinion, was a very nice box. I'll definitely say, uh, stay subscribed for now and check out next month's box as well. Um, and yeah. This was the Magical Earth. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that little bell so you never miss a notification. Also, be sure to check out my links down below. I will be, um, I am working on my own um, mystery boxes as well. And also be sure to check out my little online shop. I, um, I will be adding tons more items. It's just finding the time to get everything photoed and on the website. Thank you all for watching. Take care and blessed be.